What is up guys, Epileptic Raver here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Tutorials. This will be the first time I'm doing one out of my brand new laboratory. Isn't it spiffy? I think it's spiffy. Anywho, this uh, tutorial we will be looking at the T flip flop. I realized that there doesn't seem to be any tutorials for T flip flops in Fallout, and uh, that just won't do. So I had to reach the summer brain noodles and scramble real hard, and I'm pretty proud of what I came up with. So anyone who doesn't know, a T flip flop is something that takes a standard pulse signal, like the pressure plate, and turns it into more of a toggle switch, kind of like the lever, without using a lever, because sometimes you just don't want to use the lever. Anyway, um, first all we gotta do is make sure there's power coming to this, which there is and uh, show you how this works. Apparently not at all. Oh, there we go. And voila! The door stays open, ball gets headed back up there and automatically resets itself. So uh, without any further ado, let's take this thing down and I'll show you how to make it. Alright, so once you've figured out where you want your two flip flop to be, I'm going to have to start placing down. It is just the width of the conveyor belt, so it's fairly compact. Uh, it was the most compact I could possibly make it. Uh, if you guys can think of a better way to do it, I would love to hear it. Um, but then we're going to grab the, the C-shaped conveyor belt. And then we need one of the conveyor ramps. I would recommend this kind of ramp, not the rollers, because then the ball bounces all over the place and that's no good. Then we need to get over to the ball tracks. Like, you know, over into miscellaneous, and you're gonna get the funnel. Which, surprisingly enough, snapped to that. I was not expecting it to. And then we grab the powered ball drop. And the ball track switch. Just like that, everything fits together all nice and neat, everything's centered. Turn yourself a ball as well. And then uh, obviously you're gonna have to get your power source. Personally, I'm just gonna use one of these guys. Obviously, if you're not running mods and you can't use that, then uh, just use a generator. And then you're gonna run this wire up to the switch. Just like that. Now the input for your sensor is going to be here, or your trigger or whatever, and then the output is going to be here. And it's really as simple as that. So if we grab a pressure plate, just like that, and anything, that, whatever you're trying to power, so I'm just going to grab a door. That represents my point rather simply. Pop that guy down there. So this is going to go into your input, the ball track. And then that's going to go to your output. Obviously you got to power the pressure plate so you can just... Eh, you, know, you can just uh, in a world where I can attach them. Just like that. And then all you gotta do, you know, it's not instant like you would say in like Minecraft or something, but like I said, it's the best I could think of. And it is pretty quick to reset. Already right back up there and it is ready to go again. It will work both ways. Now it's closed. If you wanted to, you could attach you know, pressure plate on this side, another pressure plate on that side, have them both going into there, it will work exactly the same, shouldn't mess anything up. Um, but there you go guys, T flip flop in Fallout 4, not in Minecraft. Minecraft just is so much easier. But um, there's that, though uh, I guess if you wanted to stop watching the video now you could, um, or you can stick around and I can show you how to turn this into a pulse extender. Alright. So let's say you wanted the uh, pressure plate to keep the door open for longer than usual, but not uh, forever. Well then all we'd have to do, go back into our build mode, 
back over to conveyor belts. We're going to grab a trigger sensor. Yeah, that's the one we want. We don't want the pulse one. We want that one. And then we're just going to power that just like that. And then we're going to have to go into the logic gates. We're going to grab an NAND gate. We can just put that right there or obviously wherever you want. Then this wire is now going to go here. And that guy is going to go yeah. And then that guy's going to go yeah. So, once we hit the pressure plate, ball releases, that'll turn it on, leave the door open, and then it'll shut. Now, I have tried this quite a few times, and the ball reliably does not come off the track. It goes directly down the center. I want to just keep doing this all day, it'll keep working. It's not going to get in a weird loop where it stops working. So there you go guys, the double whammy, two things that I have not seen in Fallout 4, a T-flip flop and a pulse extender. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it informative, please hit that like button. If you found a good use for the T-flip flop, please let me know in the comments, I'd love to know what you guys have come up with. And uh, yeah, if you want more tutorials, don't worry, there's a, a whole bunch of more useful things in my brain noodles that I've been uh, using to form words that make sense and are, are real words. So uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye